Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the global configuration in Joomla to turn off a whole bunch of default settings or display settings that Joomla actually has where it displays all these weird little bits of information that we don't really need on our website, okay? And uh, just for an example, I'm actually on my first article which we created a couple tutorials ago and as you can see on this page we actually have a little block over here that says details and then we've got written by super user and that really doesn't make any sense to someone visiting my site who the heck is super user now I happen to know that that's me but the people reading my website won't know who super user is so that's kind of information that I might want to hide again category is set to uncategorize we probably don't really need to show that to the user so we can go ahead and hide that okay we've also got a publish date which actually sometimes people like to have that on their website still but um, uh, you guys can keep it if you want I'm gonna show you guys how to turn that off and then we also have a hit counter over here and you know what to be honest a hit counter is something that maybe in the early 2000s and in the 90s we always wanted people to see how many hits our page got nowadays not so much okay so a hit counter is something that we can hide away and then um, the users or the visitors to our website on the front end don't actually need to see that because it's it's information that's irrelevant to them actually okay so I'm going to show you guys how to turn all of that stuff off and to do that you're going to have to log into the back end of Joomla then go over to system global configuration and basically here you're able to change a whole bunch of uh, settings and we might still uh, pop into the global configuration later on in other tutorials just to change a few things but for now I'm actually going to go over to articles because that's the section that I want to work with right now okay and if you guys ever want to change something about the smart search or the languages then you can do that but uh, I'm actually not going to cover that in this video so we're just going to be talking about articles and if we take a look at our uh, options over here you can see that we've got an option to show the title and the title is actually uh, this up here so if you guys don't want the title to appear on the page then you can go ahead and hide that although I think it makes sense to have that there so I'm gonna leave that okay link titles means that it's making this title a link and to be honest I think this is really stupid because if I go ahead and click on this link it links me straight back to the article which I'm already on uh, so that I think is a little bit dumb so we can go ahead and turn link titles off uh, intro text we can go ahead and actually turn that off we're actually not using intro text I didn't show you guys how to use that so turning this off isn't gonna really do anything but um, yeah if I ever make a tutorial int on intro text then I'll come back and I'll set this to show so you guys can see exactly what intro text does but for now I'll go ahead and leave that off okay category uh, we don't want that there and linked category we can obviously set to no so that's actually just um, this category over here and then it's linked to uncategorized uh, so we just went ahead and turned that off now okay uh, show author again uh, that's the part that says written by super user uh, I don't want that to show up so I'm gonna go ahead and hide that show publish date um, I also I don't really need that to show up so I guess I can go ahead and hide that uh, show navigation uh, also um, that is this little next button at the bottom here it's not really necessary I guess if I had a whole bunch of articles uh, I could flip through them going next 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 back 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 or whatever but uh, to be honest I don't really want to use that so I'm gonna go ahead and hide that okay uh, read more buttons and things like that we're not using at the moment so it's probably safe just to turn those off uh, and actually tags uh, we are using at the moment or one of my articles is actually using them so if I go over to the getting started article this is the article that came with Joomla uh, you can see that there's a little blue box here that is actually a tag and uh, it's just a Joomla tag so uh, tags would just be to help that article gain some SEO ranking and stuff okay we can go ahead and actually just turn that off uh, 
for the user so the user doesn't actually uh, see that or the visitor because it really might not make sense to them what the tag is doing there okay icons um, we're gonna have to go back to my single article to show that again but icons is this little settings section over here which uh, doesn't make much sense to me but then you got a print button and an email button so people can print or email this web page uh, again that's not something that we use very often nowadays on the web so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hide those so hide icons should actually hide everything but if I just go hide 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 uh, then that'll also just hide the print icon and the email icon and then the last thing we're talking about here is hits and like I said this is pretty much a dead trend we don't really show users how many hits our website or our web page or the article on the web page has gotten so we can go ahead and click hide for that because that's not something that the user needs to see okay uh, and that's pretty much the articles we could also change these settings for categories um, so I could uh, maybe hide category tags and uh, again over here um, category descriptions might want to hide those I don't know uh, again we can always come back and change these things uh, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and actually just uh, save this as it is hopefully I didn't lose all my settings there and I'm gonna click save and now if I go over to the front end of my website and click refresh you can see all that stupid information that didn't need to be there is gone okay now the rest of this stuff, uh, like these uh, breadcrumbs, this whole sidebar and this image here, those are all uh, modules and modules are something else in Joomla that we'll be taking a look at in the next couple of tutorials. But for now, um, just know that those are modules and that's actually something else we have to turn off in a different place. So it's not, it's not going to be in the global configuration. And that is all I have for you in this video. So as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment or like this video. Or uh, also, don't be afraid to give it a share because uh, if you share with your friends, then hopefully that'll help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.